Well, tonight, a warning about a crime alert in the city of Sterling Heights. Yeah, crooks are targeting vehicles and even some garages in some neighborhoods. 7 Action News reporter Dave Llewellyn joins us live with more on what people need to know about this, Dave. And, Stephen, it's been a problem for some people in this neighborhood and others in this area. It's been happening in several neighborhoods here the past few nights. Unlocked vehicles offering an open invitation for thieves. Kind of unique. They've been targeting cars that were unlocked, going into the cars and using the remote controls for the garage door openers to access the garage. And then once they're inside the garage, they've been stealing miscellaneous items, usually power tools, some hand tools, um, and miscellaneous items from the garage. Since last Friday night, break ins have been reported in several different subdivisions located off Shaner in the northern end of the city. A lot of times I'll just come home from work, shut the door, and walk in the house and forget about it. Not even think. Assuming that it's safe, it, you Assuming, live in. Yeah, you know, you live in a nice area, you wouldn't think anything would happen, but I guess it's going to. Police are urging residents to play it safe by making sure any vehicles parked outside. Are always locked. 100% of the time, I might have it locked. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I never have a problem with that. I usually use my remote lock. I push it until I hear the horn beep. Make sure that way it's always locked. Will you be more careful now going forward? Oh, yeah. <laughs> definitely. Now that I'm hearing it's going on around, I'll definitely make sure the cars are locked. Advice from police is really just a reminder for vehicles in the driveway, on the street, are locked so that our homes don't become a more inviting target for thieves. For now, we are live in Sterling Heights. Dave Llewellyn, 7 Action News. So very true, Dave. Got to lock them up and not leave things in sight. Thank you much for the live report.